All right, and we're back live for our third hour, and uh, looks like we're on episode 20. Uh, still in Funway Park, I believe this will have to be the last episode for this city. Um, we're going to build this mega tower and do some finishing touches. Um, I believe, yeah, we may need to put in our police station here. And I think that's what's going to go right back here. Because because we'll be able to fill it out really nicely, and then they'll they'll have pretty good access to everything here too. There we go. Yeah, so I'm gonna put some of these in, but I'm gonna turn most of this stuff off. As usual. So we can turn it on as needed. There. I don't think we'll need any police helicopters. That should be sufficient here. We still have plenty of room in our school, and we need to figure out what to do with this. I know I keep saying that, because <laughs> I'm just still not sure, because it's going to draw a bunch of tourists up here, too, and I'm going to need to figure out what to do with the roads, which I suppose I should do now, because I think if I draw one straight out from here, oh no, it's, it's enough. Okay. So why don't we do that? It'll be a medium density road. And then we can take this out. This out. And draw on here. And then going this way, I think we're going to have to come straight out at first to like here, and then curve up to go around this. And I'm not sure where I want to intersect, does it? I'll put it here for now, because if I come out of here, it's going to make this intersection look really funky. And I don't really like the way that that work. I don't know. Could actually work. Eh. I'll try it. Um, of course I'm going to fix this though. Oh, did we draw that with high density? We did. Okay. Let's actually, let's get this intersection to something kind of interesting. It's gonna be weird, it might as well be interesting. Something like this. That's kinda of crazy. Alright, whatever. I've seen intersections like that in real life though. I'm sure we all have. <laughs> And then we can just curve this nicely around the back here. And then let's see if I can fix this curve just a little bit here. Maybe if I come from this way. I 
angle too sharp. Come on. That kind of works, but it makes the, the end up by the train station look weird. That could actually work. Cause I don't, I don't really. Well, that's okay. That would take the building out. I don't want that. <laughs> uh, why won't the roads just do what I want them to? That's my real question. Could do that. Let's do that. Whatever. This is going to be an intersection no matter what. I can't do anything about it, so... Meh. Well, let's see what our need is. Virtually nothing. <laughs> oh yeah, but we're going to move our schools in here. So, how many do we have visiting? I forgot to check. It was like 1,600 students or something yesterday, right? So, uh... Let's see here. These have 2,000. Alright, that should be plenty. Let's put an education level on the bottom, so it's easy to get to. And that should actually, yeah, increase the wealth over here just a little bit. Why did you abandon? Couldn't find work. Okay, medium wealth. Couldn't find work. I suppose. We'll put some jobs in here, too. Because we're going to build an office thing or something. I don't know. Flying by the seat of my pants here, people. <laughs> I also took that five-minute break to uh, go steal some money from the uh, other city here, but I haven't seen it come in yet, so we'll wait a little bit. Oh, and that's interesting. The amusement park comes in as a transaction. Interesting. And as soon as 8 o'clock rolls around, we'll schedule another event, but I, I think we're going to go back to the, the, the soccer thing for a minute here. Oh, and let's close this school. Because it's after 3 p.m. and there shouldn't be anybody in there. And let's just destroy it. Because we'll just use the school that's here. And maybe we'll put some houses back here. Something like that. Which really, then, we didn't need to <laughs> Alright. Hang on. I have an idea. Pause this. Bulldoze this. Yes, I'll take the main shots out. And bulldoze this. We're gonna fix this. And we're going to do this. We're going to come out. Um, so medium density is fine. We're going to come out straight from this road. And straighten it out. And do a curve there, I think. Or maybe even closer. I'm not sure yet. Yeah, we could come a lot closer. There we go. Let's try that. Oops. There. Because I don't care if they connect. Whatever. They don't have to. Because they're going to be stupid anyway.
Yeah. I'm being snarky about it. <laughs> oh, and we can zone back here. Oh, that's so close. That's gonna suck. We're gonna be little houses. Let's actually not zone those back there then. Think about something else to do. So We'll see how many it's it's gotta I gotta wait till today or until it's you know the next day. It's after eight PM though, so let's schedule an event. Made two hundred grand again yesterday. So it's I think it's interesting that the amusement park comes in as a transaction. Oh, hey, there's my $5 million gift. Yay! <laughs> That's why we're ahead $4 million in the monthly. I'll <laughs> have to wait till that drops off for us to get an accurate reading of what we're doing for money. Still don't have to turn on any of these uh, tourist waiting areas, which is good. I kind of wish I could fit the fourth one, but I'm okay because it was actually the perfect distance to put a tall tree row in here. Uh, and I'm going to have to go through and start it. Uh, I hate this. Evicting homeless is like the most annoying thing to do in SimCity because you basically, the only way that I've found that works really well is to destroy all your parks and wait like a full SimCity day, like a full 24 hours in SimCity. And then, and then you can actually um, replace the parks because that you might have like one homeless, but that's no big deal. So it, it's still it's annoying. So I haven't done it yet. <laughs> great places to shop. Great places to shop. Great places to shop. And educated. Okay. Angry kids warrant. Okay. It's too much crime, crime. All right. I just put in the the uh, police station at the end of the last video, so that's okay. Yeah, we got some crime here. Then we'll get that straightened out. It looks like we should actually turn this on and another one of these, and perhaps place. One helicopter. Let's see what we're doing for our school. Um, and actually it's six o'clock, so let's watch our... Well, it's seven now, but... We can watch some of the traffic here. I don't know how the colors read um, on Twitch, but these I always have a little bit of trouble seeing the workers, the, the light blue. But it's mostly workers going in and out of the city. And they're kind of clogging up this road, but it's not bad. Tourists are all over the place. That's what these big yellow, if I go like this, that's what these big yellow bars are. Those are tourists. It's actually a fairly diverse city. I mean, there's kind of a lot of residents. I mean, not not a ton, but there's enough to, to see them. You can see the guys here at home. 100 kids. <laughs> oh, we got an abandoned building back here because of no shoppers. So we're having trouble getting shoppers back here. We do, we do have buses, right? Did I replace the buses back there? Yeah, mostly. And these are high wealth residential in here. Or no. Or didn't I? Oh, no, they're high wealth residential here. So, I should put buses here. And I can't place them on this road or this road. And I should put buses here. Is 
there. I suppose I could put bus entrances along here just because, you know, tourists. But we already have, you know, 52,000 people riding the bus a day in the city, which is four time ish times the amount of, of people that we actually have living in the city, so. Uh, it says that I lose money, uh, Nitty, it says that I lose money during the day and make money at night. Partially because of the the way that the amusement park works, because it's a um, it comes in as a transaction. Partially because of the way that this works coming in as a as a transaction, because we're currently making money here, and also because of lodging in the casinos. So at night, tourists. Oh, excuse me, instruction. <laughs> at night, tourists um, will will you know stay in in, in the casino. But during the day, though, they might be down gambling a little bit more. And we're not really making money on this elegant casino yet. So maybe we're not able to draw enough high wealth people into the city. Or at least over to this part of the city. Yet. I was hoping that this little nightclub would help. but Because this, this one makes money. So yeah, everybody's down here um, gambling. And then the lodgers are, are, you know, some people in their hotel rooms. But mostly they're down here gambling. And I'm sure the same is here. Oh, they're actually both pretty full here. <laughs> and this one's that way too. Everyone's down gambling and not up at their rooms, so. That's probably partially why, but it's it's also, I don't know. 52 grand on the pro stadium. I'm also hoping that by holding this event, that you know, it draws medium and, and high wealth people and uh, high wealth tourists into the city to uh, stay at the new high wealth casino. Oh, see there now I'm losing money again. It's just, it's just weird. It's all about city specialization, so. Yeah, yeah, see? We just got 278,000 from the event. Which is uh, a payback or something. I, yeah. is, that, is that the full payout? No, because I had to pay 300,000 for the event. But it said that I made 53,000. I don't get it. But, okay. Because this, oops. Now see, this event only costs two hundred twenty-five thousand. That's why. Yeah. So when I got, yeah, because then yeah, two hundred twenty-five plus fifty-three is two seventy-eight. That makes more sense. <laughs> I was so confused. But yes, basically, nitty the nitty the um the per hour that shows here is not how much you make in a day because there's a lot of stuff that anything in this list doesn't really affect this per hour so this per hour fluctuation is just how many people are in, in the casinos and that fluctuates throughout the day oh how did we do taught 1280 students yesterday perfect everybody made it to school right everybody made it to school So then, I want the things at the bottom to be easy to get to. So uh, the park and apartment levels are going to be higher up. But the mall and office levels are going to be lower. And I don't think I need a mall. I, 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 I guess I'm not going to put a mall level in because I don't need it. And I'm trying for medium wealth people in this city. That's, that's kind of, I have a low wealth city, a high wealth city, and sort of a medium wealth city. And obviously there's a little bit of variation in those, and they each have a little bit of the other too, but it's kind of the theme that I'm going for. Um, so let's put, yeah, because we're not going to need a medium wealth mall. And I don't care that low wealth, we just, we need high wealth commercial in the city, in the region, as you can see from over here. So, 
let's just do this. Let's put an office level here, because these medium wealth people are complaining about not having places to work. And we'll have to watch the traffic here, because we might end up having to put maglevs into this city. Which I'm okay with. I just didn't want to take the time to do it. I'm lazy. So. Yeah, oh, sorry. Yeah, exactly, Nitty. Great minds think alike. Add work towers to the, to the, uh, or work levels to the tower. Work tower level. Nah. <laughs> uh, can I fit a residential in here? Oh, yeah. I can fit. Let's do this. See what grows. Need more workers to make a profit, yes. <clears throat> there are workers in the city, give them a minute. In fact, give me just a minute. Coffee refill time. Okay. So now it's saying that we don't have enough workers. I don't know if I believe it yet. We need more people to get over there. I wonder if these are too close to have an intersection right here. Oh, they're not. Let's do that. Let's do a little. Let's actually even make it a dirt one, because I don't. I don't want to encourage anybody to drive on it. But they can. They can kind of use it to just skip over to the train station. Oh yeah. So you know, of course, everybody's gonna friggin' drive on it. All right. We'll see. <laughs> Not enough shopping around here. Hmm. I don't want to put a mall level in because they don't make that much money. I mean, they, they. I always have trouble with mall levels. Excuse me, they all seem to die. So. What am I going to put back in this area right here? I need I need something to put back in here. Any, any suggestions? I mean, I know I have to wait the stream lag time of like 40 seconds, but... We need some work. Okay. You're not at home right now. So are all the tourists, like, taking their goods? Because, I mean, it says that my, they're satisfied, and I have more medium wealth goods than I need, and these tourists are taking the rest of them. So are they, like, taking? I don't know. A lot of people walking here. Oh, speaking of... Made 30 grand on our event, alright. Maybe if I keep doing it consecutively, we'll, we'll get people, like enough people in the city. I don't know. No shoppers, no shoppers, alright. Let's 
So what wealth level were you? Medium. There's no medium wealth. These guys. So this is what I don't understand. Medium wealth, commercial, dying because of no shoppers. And this, was it this guy? Not enough shopping around here, right here. And great places to shop here. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, um, MIDI, the Eiffel Tower, uh, I have right here. And I have the, um, the, uh, Statue of Liberty right here. And I actually have my third one is the Edificio Copan, or something. I don't speak Portuguese, but, or whatever it is. It's from Brazil, so I assume it's Portuguese. But it's, um, it's got people in it. So, uh, that's my third tourism area, or tourism thing. And I could get rid of that, I guess, because I have plenty of people over here, but I am commuting in. So I could I could move that and put something else here, or something else in somewhere else. I'm just not sure yet. And this mall level is not, or this office level is not getting quite enough people yet. I don't think I should put a mall level in the mega tower. I'm trying to I'm trying to think about what I can put in here. Cuz we obviously don't need another office yet. And I want to wait to put the the residential in. We have enough education. All right, let's just put a park level in. Why not? Whatever. Happiness. Maybe these people maybe these people will visit the park and quit complaining about not enough commercial or something. Yeah, no shoppers over here, no shoppers over here. Alright, I think I need to try to update this area to high wealth a little bit better. So I'm willing to bet it's medium yeah, all the way through the middle. So let's let's increase this to high wealth. Put some fountain plaza in here. These are really big, so we can actually um, scoot them over probably a little bit. These are nice, though. Um, and really, I, I think if we change this amphitheater for... Uh, multiple parks will get a better result. Although it re really would be cool to put one of these launch parks in somewhere. Just because I think that I, I like the balloons that come out of them. And, you know, it looks neat. Um, but we'll start with a reflecting pool park. And then we'll place these fountain parks coming out this way. Not the fence ones, just the regular ones. Yeah. Or maybe no, maybe we'll do it the other way. The tower, uh, nitty. The tower can be uh, eight levels tall plus a crown. And in this particular tower, we're gonna do a um, uh, sky clops coaster crown. It's, you'll see. It's a roller coaster. It looks really cool. So, I think what I'm going to do is put uh, a stripe of these over here, no fountain plazas over here. To increase the land value, hopefully. Uh, just a little bit, I guess. <laughs> Put a couple on the other side too. Can't fit one in there without demolishing a building, and that's actually three. That those are actually built pretty tightly in there. So I guess I guess we can just do the other side too.
Fountain Plaza, Fountain Plaza. So that's pretty well high density in the middle. It's not quite though. Pretty close, or uh, high wealth, sorry, not high density. I mean, it's high density too, but high wealth. And you know, we could probably put some over here. Or maybe, maybe just on this side. Like this, yeah. And then that'll help out. And we could even do something over here to help out, but I, I think that side's pretty fine. No shops or parks, couldn't go to school. So it's stupid too because there's parks right here, and yeah, there's some homeless, whatever. But it's stupid because they're right there. And there's park level right there. <laughs> School's still doing good. Office level is doing mediocre. Okay. So I guess we'll just put residents in. We need some. How many workers do we need in this office level? Uh, well, let me click on it. Let's see here. If I uh, see, if I put uh, a low wealth residential, and that's twelve hundred, so that's going to be more than enough workers for the office. But. <clears throat> Yeah, we have plenty of room, because there's, there's people commuting in, so we have plenty of room to take some of their jobs. And I won't really care about the low-wealth um, shopping. They can go shop somewhere else. Oh. Schedule another event. I'm hoping ha that having these high wealth residential will help these other things. And why is this casino losing money? See, this casino has always been weird. These other ones always make a lot of money. Oops. 87,000, 80,000, yeah. Why is, why is this one losing? Either way. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is still making 200 grand a day, and I am happy about that. That was kind of the whole focal point of this city anyway, was the amusement park. So far, this hasn't been messing with traffic too bad up here. And I was a little worried about having these two intersections so close, but I haven't really seen any big issues with it yet, so... You know, everybody seems to be able to get wherever they're trying to go pretty easy. And not as many people as I thought are... I mean, yeah, there's people trying to use this road, but it's not as bad as I thought. I mean, it's going to be an intersection no matter what. So maybe I will upgrade it here. Let me see. Let me see what it looks like, see if I like it. And I don't think it's going to help the traffic flow at all, but it might. It kind of makes it worse. At least this way they they keep moving. You can keep it like that. Fine. How do these guys feel? Telling all our friends to move in. Alright. Still losing money on the Mega Tower uh, total, but we're full-on residents there. 
High wealth residents, I might convert a little bit more of this commercial area to high wealth residential. Kind of like this one is, although this one only says medium. What does this one say? High wealth, high wealth. Yeah. So anyway, I might convert some of this over to high wealth residential. Um, I believe these guys are medium wealth. Uh, but I can't tell. I think they're medium wealth residents. Couldn't find work. Well, why couldn't you find work in this? Op okay, well, now we're full on medium wealth workers there. And at least the office tower is making money now. So maybe what I should actually do here. Yeah, here's, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take out this apartment level. Take out this park level. Put in another office level. Uh, whoops. Medium tech. And then and then we'll build on top of that. Because I, 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 I want those to be closer to the bottom because then people from the town can get to it a little bit easier. Let's see here. What other? Oh yeah, I need. To, I still need to pick something for back here because it's not going to fit residential at high density. These guys are doing good. I miss going to school. I taught a bunch of people yesterday. Couldn't find work. Okay, well you will be able to find work. Shit. And I'm, I'm wondering if I shouldn't put students into an, another level for students. Because we're going to have more people in this tower. Alright. Let's do that. Rebuild this tower from the bottom. I'm not quite from the bottom because we have an education level already on the bottom. And we're going to have two education levels. Because we have a lot of people coming in from other cities um, to, to educate edu edu themselves. <laughs> oh, and I think now that we... Oh, yeah, no, we need, we need the gambling division to do the craps parlor over here. I almost I thought I thought we could do it, but nope. Almost built here. Couldn't find shops or parks. Alright, we will, we'll, we will work on that. So yeah, medium wealth shops wouldn't even work there. I think I will put some shops over here. Yeah, I think I will. And hopefully they don't turn into, like, hotels. Hmm. You know, lead all the little filler pieces. Get some shops in here. Maybe they'll stop complaining. So try to get train tracks going around the city, says Nitty. That rhymes. <laughs> um, <laughs> no shoppers, huh? Sales are strong, no shoppers. These tourists are spending lots. Okay.
So two education levels, then we'll have two office levels. And then we'll put in some a park and some residential. We can still place, um, we have a couple more places that we can put attractions around the city while that's building. Um, but these are the, these attractions. So they're all low tourist attractions, but they do, do draw some people into the city. So, for instance, we could put Larry the Large Llama? No. Maybe the Ball of Twine? No, we can't fit anything in here. Oh, could put stuff back here, but I'm going to wait on that. We could put attractions in here. Put a Maxis Man statue right here. That would be kind of cool. Right by the stadium. I kind of like that. So face it this way, or face it... I oh, can't face it towards the stadium. So maybe we just face it this way. And then we can put the commercial in this little area. There. Now I finally know what to do with that. <laughs> Alright, office level. We need one more office level. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm uh, nitty that I'm going to be able to make train tracks go around the city. It's going to be really hard. Um, and I already have, I mean, I have train tracks going around the amusement park, but not around the city. I'm not going to do maglev in this city either. I decided I, I really just don't want to. <laughs> but as I was saying, I believe this will be the last, um, <clears throat> last episode for this city, and then we're going to start on our high, um, I guess, I, I guess it would be commercial and, and industrial for, um, the, the, um, oh, I can't think of the International Airport Great Work. There we go, I couldn't think of the words. So, well, you know, in a little bit, um, I'm going to take a break from streaming for a little bit today. I just did three hours in a row. So we'll do a little bit after, you know, afterwards. Um, oh, and then park, 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 park. And then um, I will, you know, start my next stream after this one as uh, a new city. So, good times, good times. I think, too, let's replace this casino, because this casino is not making money, so. Bulldoze. And let's put that other casino in over here. Uh, the Roman, wait, what, what is this one? Elegant Casino, yeah, let's put the Roman Luck Casino in here. Uh, buildings in the way. <laughs> what is this? Concert hall. Well, I wonder if we move this over, if we actually put this in the corner, if we can fit the concert hall right here. Ah, uh, still, come on. Okay. Oh, I'll leave it there for now, because I'll figure out something to put in the middle there. Yeah, high wealth at the top, medium wealth in the ground in the middle. Okay, so it's like, it's like the other casino. What's this other one? Oh, Baccarat. Okay. We only get six. So let's do this. Oh, 
Wait. We can just build them on top, but I think I want to build them behind. Because, yeah, with these, we can build them on top of the, the upper part here. But I think we're going to do this. And this. And this. And then we'll put one of these in back here. Oh, I had it really big. Okay. I didn't realize that. That's okay, though. I want to draw the tourists in. Let's see, no marquee or... Oh, yeah. Got to have the flaming fire over the... There you go. Over the entrance to the casino. Boom. <laughs> okay. Now, hopefully that casino will make a little bit more money. And that'll tip us over our last little bit that we need for the gambling HQ. So let's check on this. 1,200 students, 100 students. Need more workers. Filling up okay, though. You're not filling up at all. But... We're going to put some residential. And put one of these apartment levels. Actually, let's do two low wealth apartment levels. Because, right? Because we need... Um, that'll be a lot of low wealth people, though. I think one should be fine. And then a medium wealth, and then maybe even another park or something. Oh, I forgot to schedule an event here. How much did we make on our last one? 46,000? Okay. And then we'll build medium wealth apartment level. It'd be kind of cool if you had a sky bridge over to the other city. <laughs> Is it snowing where I live? Um, not at the moment. I mean, I, I haven't looked out the window in a little bit. I, I have the window that's in the, my office here is covered because it faces the outside and it, um, it gets really cold in the winter. <laughs> but it's not snowing here where I live at the moment. Um, I live in Wisconsin, so not on the East Coast, but we often catch some of their storms. Now we're getting pretty good on workers here. We're getting good on workers there. I don't know if I want to put another medium wealth level in. It says there's some unsatisfied shoppers, but I'm hoping that'll help with our abandonment problem over here. See, no shoppers going out of business. Uh, otherwise, there's lots of high wealth casino or high wealth, you know, business over there. So that casino is kind of filling up. Oh, 
I haven't checked on these in a while. The Eiffel Tower's doing good. Statue of Liberty's full. All right, I think I think we should replace this with a different um, tourist attraction. And I'm thinking we might put it here. <laughs> uh, M. Sanj Del K. Kent. <laughs> I'm gonna butcher your name. Um, yeah, it's, you can send us some heat wave too. My, my grandma called the other day. She lives in California. And she's like, yeah, it's 88. I'm like, yeah, thanks, grandma. I hate you. <laughs> I don't actually hate my grandma, but it's annoying when she taunts me with her weather. <laughs> So, hmm, where are these other low wealth workers working? They're not all working here, because there's only 800 low wealth, okay, yeah, there's only 800 low wealth jobs between it, and there's 1,200 people up here, so, yeah, they're, they're full on, on those. So let's put another park level in, make sure people are happy, and then we'll put the Sky Coaster crown on, and by the time that finishes building, that'll be the end of this city. Look, I mean, I believe. Oh yeah, because we're gonna move. We're gonna put another uh, attraction in over here. I want to draw people over to this side of the city a little bit more. Um, so I think we're gonna switch this out with. Oh, whoops! No, I was in the right place. So we're gonna take this out. And then we'll put in. Big Ben would actually be pretty cool. Right over here. I mean, it would fit in, too. Could also do something like the Linden Tower of Pisa. That's a high, a high tourist attraction. It's pretty small, too. Or even, uh... Oh, I guess Washington Monument's only a medium tourist attraction. Let's do Big Ben, though. I think that'll look nice. 375. It's it's just the it's the same amount of tourist as the uh, Statue of Liberty. And I kind of want to zone residentially in here. Angel is fine. Oh, okay. I see. I see that in the middle there. Angel. <laughs> oh, we can't quite fit three. Come on, three. Maybe if I zone that part, I don't know. Three would be nice. Our construction of this is probably complete. So let's check on this here. Teaching students good. People in the office levels good. Park. Everybody is happy in these. And people are visiting that park too. Okay. So we're actually losing just a little bit of money on this park normally, but or on this uh, amusement uh, the. Sorry, Mega Tower, usually. But when we put this on top, we make a ton of money. <clears throat> and you can see this is just going to be backed up no matter what we do now. Because of everybody trying to leave the city and go one way. And it's just single lane. It might as well be a single lane all the way through here. Because of this, you know, single lane here. 
But this will clear up eventually. Hey, there we go. Now it looks like maybe three built. We'll see. Hopefully it gets there. Right, Sky Cop Sky Clops Coaster. That's pretty cool. Oops. <laughs> there we go, I got a view of it from the that's a screenshot. <laughs> it's cool though when as soon as the co the roller coaster starts running, which it says it's working. Oh, there you go. You can see it. It'll it flips up in the air. <laughs> there you go. It's a cool roller coaster. I'd ride it. <laughs> but now we're making tons of money an hour on this one, so that that'll be really helpful to the city. And I think everybody is really happy because they have places to work and stuff here. Let's see. Kids couldn't go to school, but they can now. Raise the value of our land, please. Where do you, where do you have land value issues? Oh, right, right over here, maybe. Or right over here. Yeah. Small complaints. Very small complaints. How about commercial? Too much crime. Not enough shoppers for medium wall. Let's check this here. Plenty of room in our jail cells. It says they're out on patrol. Let's check uh, this here. It doesn't say it's that bad. There's crime over here, but it's not, you know, it's not that bad. This one's not, so now this one's losing profit. WTF. Both of these are. Oh, we didn't, we forgot to do this today. There we go. However, this coaster, yeah, making a lot of money. So that's doing well. And I don't think, it's, I mean, it's creating some traffic up here, but it's not that terrible. It'll go away pretty soon here. I mean, still, man, just a line of a single line of cars trying to get out. It's crazy. But that's the way that you know tourist cities work. If you ever lived in one and it's only got one uh, one entrance or exit, that's that's the way it goes. It's just super super busy like all the time. <laughs> So it looks like we're hitting our hour mark coming up here. So, like I said, this is the last episode we'll do of this city. Um, it's been fun building Funway Park. <laughs> I, I, I mean, we went through half the ter half of the city without a name, so finally got a name for it. And uh, we built a really bitch amusement park, and I like that. So, we will call this complete, even with a Skyclops crown city makes money sometimes doesn't make money other times just depends on what's going on um, the amusement park makes enough money to cover any event we do so we pretty much make no money no matter what if we run an event or not but anyway this is the end of episode 20 so this is my third hour of streaming today I'm gonna take a little break for a half hour hour here and uh, when we come back uh, a little bit later today do another hour new city um probably probably do our uh international airport area uh start a new island in fact a whole new section of the region so if you want to catch me live when i do that follow me on twitch and I'm sure twitch will let you know they're pretty good about that if you want to watch stuff that i do later on if you can't catch me live you can always watch what i do on youtube i export everything over there and uh so you can there's a link in, in the bottom of my uh twitch channel to my youtube channel so you can subscribe to me there and see all my videos when I post them. But I will see all of you at a later time today. And until then, have fun, build some cities.